I'm Mark Smith, I'm the plant area manager of Swarks and Nursery here in Derby. Uh, this is the weekly looking good list uh, for the week commencing 20th of June. Uh, I'm going to show you a few things that are looking particularly nice at the moment. Uh, hopefully it will inspire you. So um, let's go and have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got uh, Dahlia Karma Choc here, a really gorgeous variety large flowers, uh, deep burgundy flowers and dark purple uh, leaves um, got a slight scent of chocolate hence the name uh, lovely lovely variety okay we have uh, Dahlia Procyon uh, here which is again another absolute cracking uh, flower um, yellow with uh, orange uh, tipped petals uh, lime green leaves very very compact very free flowering um, lovely lovely showy uh, dahlia okay so we have Karma Naomi which uh, again gorgeous uh, burgundy cerisi pink uh, flower uh, very large flower uh, when it gets more mature it moves on to uh, a much much bigger you can tell by my hand there how big the flower gets much taller than the other Karma varieties um, very free flowering, green leaves again, uh, makes a fabulous show, good uh, container plant, really really nice variety. Okay so this is Bishop of Landaff which uh, when everybody thinks of uh, Hardy Daly as the, uh, the think of Bishop of Landaff, gorgeous vibrant hot red flowers not as big as the Karma varieties or the varieties I've previously shown you but a stunner nonetheless uh, very deep plum red um, foliage that contrasts well with the really bright red um, it's a personal favourite of mine I absolutely love this okay, so these are the hardy lilies that we've got in at the moment absolutely glorious display as you can see uh, the orange and the Zulu that I've got in my hand here um, not all of them are out in flower at the moment we've got uh, they're all in tight bud um, so they're just about to come out in the next week or so uh, we've got pink the Zulu that I've got in my hand here uh, we've got pure white uh, we've got red we've got yellow pure yellow which is just starting to show signs of colour there and uh, we've got the uh, the black pearl there which is, again is another hardy lily that will come back next year uh, but the black pearls are very very deep uh, burgundy red almost completely black um, stunning uh, stunning lily and uh, um, a little bit taller than the other hardy lilies that we've got but great in a pot, uh, make a fantastic ship. Okay so here we've got um, Thyme Silver Queen uh, a variety that we grow ourselves here at the nursery lovely lovely uh, scented uh, leaves and uh, pretty uh, lilac uh, flowers just an absolute gorgeous plant, I mean that planted that in a uh, container straight away you've got an instant uh, effect, you don't have to wait for that to grow really 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 big plant at the moment absolutely lovely okay so here we have uh, clematis uh, ooh la la uh, which is a patio clematis we've got it grown here in a pot just to emphasize the fact that these are patio clematis and they can be grown in the pot we've got it going up uh, obelisk here it's a raymond everson variety which is absolutely superb um, a bit like nelly moser a traditional nelly moser but we've got it here in full sun which doesn't actually uh, bleach unlike nelly moser which bleaches uh, to pure white um, but grown here is just a profusion of flower. Um, moving across to uh, the other varieties that we have, we've got uh, Clematis Rebecca here which is the uh, one of the best red uh, Clematis again, bred by Raymond Everson. Uh, Ooh La La which you saw in the um, container there uh, grown up the obelisk. Uh, lovely Cezanne which is a very light uh, blue, uh, just a mass of uh, flower. I really like uh, Cezanne. Um, Flory here which is deep deep purple just masses and masses of uh, flowers a dwarf uh, growing one uh, we've got the um, burgundy Picardy there which again uh, lovely shimmer to the flowers uh, masses of dense uh, flowers um, also we have Abilene which is you may have seen at Chelsea Flower Show this year uh, dwarf grown one again but the beauty about this particular variety it grows in uh, a shady spot um, masses of flowers and uh, I hope uh, Raymond Abson breeds more uh, clematis that are suited for a shady position uh, moving down again uh, we have uh, Shimmer which has a, a darker flower when, uh, when uh, young 
a dark flower when young then it matures to a much brighter bigger flower when it gets slightly older I love shimmer because it's like the name suggests it has a shimmer to the flower uh, and then uh, finally we have uh, amethyst beauty here which is a really really deep purple and again flowers and flowers and flowers from uh, around about the uh, uh, beginning of May uh, to uh, you know late on into the season uh, but there's plenty of buds still left to come and uh, that's what Raymond Everson uh, does with his breeding he makes sure they, they've got long lasting flowering uh, times and uh, you can enjoy that throughout this. Okay so uh, what we have here is um, Trachlisburnum jasminoides uh, this is uh, the common name for this is star jasmine very uh, strongly scented just like a jasmine uh, but this one uh, unlike the traditional uh, jasmine is evergreen uh, so you get something there in winter uh, also another added feature of uh, the trackless burnham is when it goes cold it goes really really deep crimson on the leaves so really attractive in uh, autumn but the the beauty of it is is really the sweet sweet smell of uh, the jasmine absolutely gorgeous uh, this one is currently just starting to come into flower but when you buy these as a as a plant uh, you get a really nice plant to start off with lots and lots of flowers a nice big tall plant something instant straight away that will give you instant effect when you're putting it up a wall or like we have here up an obelisk okay so what we have is uh, Passiflora carula which is a uh, passion flower uh, common name uh, beautiful beautiful flowers looks almost like a uh, very fancy uh, clematis um, the, it's fan fantastic um, climate, evergreen, very very quick growing, and when it's ju it's just about to start now, uh, it's season with with flan, and you get all these buds. It's just a mass of flower, gives you a really really good show. Uh, this time, probably next week, it'll be uh, half of it will be in uh, in flower. It'll just look incredible. What I've done here is have it up an eight foot uh, obelisk, and it's climbed up here very very quickly. I did this in. April and uh, it's grown up extremely quickly it goes right the way around the whole obelisk and it's got these shoots coming off and there's buds right to the very very top it's going to be absolutely incredible when this fully comes into flower uh, when you buy this plant it comes as a little plant um, of about two feet high uh, but it soon would make that sort of size uh, within a month or two uh, very very uh, quick growing plant and uh, a very very good showy plant for okay so uh, another uh, fantastic looking plant this week is Hebe Black Beauty uh, lovely uh, evergreen uh, shrub it will get to about three foot by about three foot uh, deep purple flowers but the the main uh, feature for me is the uh, is a really dark almost black uh, evergreen foliage there uh, we've got it right next to um, Berberus Golden Torch there which the two contrast absolutely lovely uh, Berberus Golden Torch is an upright very dense compact upright column uh, Berberus not evergreen but as you can see from the two there a beautiful um, combination of plants there to uh, plant together in the garden uh, it's nice to uh, have uh, complementing plants and that's a really great example of uh, two okay, very, very so uh, another couple of hebes that we've got here uh, really nice dense compact one called gold rush uh, evergreen bright golden foliage and pretty uh, pink flowers uh, stays very very dense and compact a really nice variety and the other one uh, next to it which is again uh, like on the previous um, piece I said about the contrast this one is called wild romance and all the new growth is a really vivid um, bright pink uh, that goes to a sort of plummy uh, um, red colour uh, later on it's uh, such a nice variety uh, gives you great color even when there's no flower on the plant You've, you're getting this lovely lovely foliage uh, because it's evergreen all the way through the year as well but again uh, contrast between the two varieties again is fantastic you can plant these and uh, they give you a okay, great so another great plant looking plant this week is cordline sparkler uh, creamy stripy uh, variegated uh, leaves uh, the, the one next to it is is pink passion, cordline pink passion, 
vibrant pink striping in the leaf it's a new variety uh, this year absolutely lovely uh, the both uh, are cordalized so they will make a trunk and make a palm tree ideal for the middle of a uh, lawn or in the container make a great conservatory uh, plant and, uh, and patio plant um, to absolutely okay, uh, part of the summer breading that we uh, grow here at uh, Swartz and these lovely dahlias um, look at that plant, absolutely fantastic. Plenty of uh, buds, gives you uh, colour all the way through summer right up to the first frost. Uh, fabulous uh, selection of colours. Uh, the oranges, the yellows, the reds, the pinks, the whites and the uh, deeper pink at the bottom. So, I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching. I uh, hope it's been inspirational. Um, informative and entertaining and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you next week.